Hello and welcome to today's video. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you uh, the process of painting my first ever commission. I was really nervous to do this and also to share it to be honest. Maybe make a cup of tea, get some snacks or pull out your sketchbook and paint with me. I'll see you at the end. Hello and welcome to my first ever commission video. I have never done a commission before and I was really excited and super nervous for this one. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about the process while you watch me paint. This commission was actually for a friend, so that's why I felt comfortable to do it. I was given a colour palette to follow, but I followed it pretty loosely. I definitely incorporated little bits of other colours, but for the most part I tried to stick to it relatively closely. I did a super loose sketch uh, in my sketchbook where I just placed the colours so I knew how they would layer, where to put the shadows, darks and lights and all that kind of thing. This is one of the first times I've ever created something from my imagination only. Um, usually I rely on a reference a lot. It definitely built my confidence to try more things like this. I have made um, a bunch of paintings before from my imagination, especially when I was taking part in Peachtober last year. But yeah, I had had very limited experience in making something for someone else and it also being something that I've come up with myself so it's definitely a confidence builder. I was being really really precious at first with my brush strokes because all I could think was that it was for someone else. I realised that my whole thing with art is to try and keep things as loose as possible so I had to basically restart doing the grass um, which you can see uh, I started off by placing marks that were just way too early to be putting them down so I then went back and started at the back and brought it forward and worked forward. I had been using oil pastels for a few weeks at this point, um, it's been a while since I filmed this and I had been really loving what they added to a piece but I definitely use them differently now. I'm a lot more quote unquote careless with them and I like to experiment with the colours I put in different spots, um, adding little brushes of pink in the sky and little marks and I definitely think in this piece I use them in an okay way I'm happy with how I use them but having spent more time with them I definitely use them differently now um, which would be a cool thing to explore in a video at some point. One thing I do think uh, that I don't like as much is that I slightly overworked the subject. Um, without the details I added she was a bit flat uh, and she got a big butt. <laughs> uh, I definitely needed the shadows to, you know, make it look better. <laughs> but I think I made some mistakes and got stressed and then overworked it. So I was kind of like trying to correct things that were fine really, but yeah. My favourite part of any painting is when you finally get to peel off the tape. Um, it's like it before it's messy and it's got the the border of the tape and then you take it off and it's like oh that's what it looks like it's like you're um you finally get to see what you've made when you take the tape off <laughs> 
I was actually really proud of this piece, which felt nice. It felt good to be happy with something that I had made <laughs> for once <laughs> um, and then actually give it to someone else because usually when I'm making stuff for myself, I do what we all do, which is, you know, criticise and stuff. But it was nice to be able to give something to someone else that I was proud of. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me make it. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like the video and subscribe if you want to see more videos. If you made it this far, please comment your favourite fruit or vegetable emoji. Bye! <laughs>